What's good YouTube, it's your boy King Breako And I'm back with another cut Today we're going to do a high bar taper This video going to have some uh, raw audio And also I'm going to be explaining Some of the things that I'm doing in the haircut So uh, y'all sit back, tune in Watch me work man Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe man Let's get it Okay so right now I'm going to start the go over his hair pattern because you see my client has waves so I'm just gonna follow the wave pattern with the one uh, guard all the way open so it's basically like a one and a half and I'm gonna try to uh, trim that down to the desired length before I start to uh, set my taper uh, guidelines in so y'all just watch as I lower his hair and try not to uh, mess up his wave pattern man because my boy is flicking so uh, you gotta be real careful and he really like his hair low, so he don't really care about his crown. I know most waivers be going crazy about their crown. But he don't really care about his crown. He be liking his hair low. So that's why I ain't going over his crown with a two or anything. I'm making it all one length, so that's the purpose of that. Okay, so now I'm setting in my guideline for the taper. I'm doing it in a rainbow sort of high shape because like I said it's a high uh, bar taper so I'm going to uh, you know, start the bar and process with the taper you know you do the same thing the, uh, the other side and, and you know essentially the back too but it's going to be a little wider space because you know it's the back of the head but yeah you can see making sure it's nice and bald before I begin the fading process Okay, and as you see, I switched to my magic clips with the lever all the way open, no guard, because honestly, different clippers give different results. So I really want to do the taper with the walls because I believe they they sort of taper better than uh, the Babylon. So yeah, like I said, I'm starting it, and see, I just adjusted the lever. And if you got these magic clips, you really got to know how to work your levers because it ain't no click in it. Like most of these clippers being made with now, which I feel like they not really showing you that you got skills with the clippers. If you got that click with these magic clips, you got to know your lever play game. And that's what I'm doing right now. Using the lever the way I know how to use it. And I'm slowly taking out the bottom uh, guideline. So I can easily transition that blend in with his one and a half. And I'm using the corner of the blades as y'all can see. Don't forget that. When you blend it in, start at the bottom with the corner of the blades. And, you know, knock off that bulk behind the ear. Don't take too much off because it's going to make the taper pop in the end. So just, y'all just pay attention. Okay, so now we're going back in with the magic clips with the one guard lever all the way open. And I'm slowly starting to blend the taper into the one and a half. As you can see, it's slowly starting to transition into a nice blend, creating that high taper effect. I'm trying not to go up too high because, like I said, I don't want to really damage his waves. But like I told y'all in the beginning, he don't really care about his waves even though he got them. He just like his hair low with a high taper. So I'm continuing to use the corner of my blades, adjusting the lever, flicking in those uh, those dark spots you see so I can create that smooth transition into that high taper. So y'all just watch me uh, watch me work, man. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment, man, if y'all got any questions. You, want, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to know what clippers I'm using, any tips or tricks that I do. You know, leave comments, man. I got y'all. You know I'm going to reply back. So y'all just watch me work, man. Okay, so now I got the half guard. You know, just using the corner of the blades, knocking out those little dark spots, continuing to blend in that high taper, giving it that pure transition effect. And now I'm going to take off the guard, open the lever all the way up, and, you know, just knock out those dark spots. I'm basically detailing the high taper right now. And as y'all can see, it's slowly coming together. That boy looking right. Just wait till I add the line up to it. But you know, just remember when y'all taking out those those spots that y'all see, use the corner of the blade. 
do not lay that blade flat because then you're going to create another guideline. And I'm just flicking, knocking out those dark spots, and y'all see that high taper is coming in. So y'all just continue to watch me work, man. I appreciate the support. Okay, so now it's time to taper the back. And I decided I wasn't going to do the taper in the back the same way I did on the side. So I just decided to go in with the magic clips, no guard, lever all the way open, and start to just blend in that one and a half. Just create a smooth transition as fast as possible. And then I'll slowly, slowly blend in the bottom, making the bottom bald, equaling this, you know, the side taper. So I just decided to do something different. So y'all, if y'all wondering why I didn't start with my trimmers, I'm just going for a different approach, practicing my craft. So y'all just watch me work and watch how the taper slowly come in, blend into a smooth transition with this uh, different method I decided to use in the middle of the haircut, random, I know. Y'all just keep watching, man. Remember to comment, man. Let me know if y'all uh, got any questions, want to know any tips or tricks. You know, I appreciate it. And if y'all wondering what that is playing in the background, that's the movie called uh, Hitman on Netflix. Go check that out. That's, that's a decent movie. But as y'all can see, that back taper coming in. That boy coming in. Smooth transition. And not once did I use the trimmers to uh, complete this back taper. Because the trimmers be sharp. And some clients' necks and back of the head get irritated. So... If y'all can use this method, I prefer that y'all bought the back of the head out with y'all clippers and then just transition from there into that uh to the blend. You don't have to use the trimmers because you don't want to see the client's neck red and irritated. Now I'm finna start the line up starting from the middle of my client's head, working all the way to the corner, just tapping. Because that's really not the the official lineup. I'm just Create my lineup, you know, because I am going to detail it with the razor. So I'm just tapping, pretty much outlining my lining, if that makes sense. Brushing it down, getting all the loose hairs, making sure that you don't, that you get a nice crisp line. And my client has a widow peak, so don't think that I'm pushing them back. So y'all just keep watching, man. Like I said, I'm just tapping the line and creating my outline for my real line. Now I'm going to start lining up the facial hair. My client likes that chin strap. So I'm trying to create a nice crisp line on the jawline. Making sure it's nice and crisp. And then I'll go right under the jawline. You see that? Nice crisp line. Clean up all the hair under the neck. Making sure my client is nice and groomed. Look at the tiger claw method. I flip the clippers. Now I'm going to continue to create that nice little, you know what I'm saying? Look, look at those lines when you see. Look, nice and crisp. He don't really want all that extra growth. He wants some of it. So you see, I'm tapping. I'm not really pressing down hard because these are trimmers. Tapping just creating nice, nice cross lines. Okay, so now I done lean my client back. I'm finna start the razor work. I'm not really gonna talk much. Y'all just watch. And then I'll say a few things when I uh use the razor on this facial hair. So y'all just watch, man. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment, ask questions. You know, I'll reply. Appreciate the support.
occupation. Mm. I'd say the real me is a people person. I like to have a good time, but to be most effective in this job, I have to be a bit of a lone wolf. I have to never draw any attention to myself. I, I don't want anyone to remember my face. I don't want to over or under tip. I don't want to be pulled into memorable conversations. That's why I drive a Honda Civic. I want it to seem like I don't exist. <laughs> That's the professional side of me. I'd say being here with you right now is pretty damn unprofessional, but hey, come on. Okay, so now I'm razoring the facial hair up, you know, pulling the skin, stretching it, making sure that the razor don't snag and cut his skin. And as you can see, once again, I'm making nice crisp lines to the facial hair look at that now i'm gonna knock off that the rest of that new growth that he didn't want and see how crispy that line is becoming you want to know all about i'm saying y'all got to be careful with them razors have a light touch but don't be afraid of the razor because you can do magic and wonders with the razor look at that and here we go youtube this is the cut the high bar taper on my client as you can see his waves flicking Nice smooth transition high taper. Appreciate it. 